Good afternoon, everyone on YouTube. Uh, so what I want to do is just share one of my out-of-body experiences that I had uh, just recently, and it was fantastic. One of probably the most clear out-of-body experiences that I've had so far. So uh, if this is your first video watching. Just I've got four videos on how to ha have an out-of-body experience. Uh, so check those out if you want. Um, but in the meantime, so this is what happened so I wake up uh, in the morning as per usual I'm kind of drowsy half asleep half awake uh, I let my body fall back asleep while I keep my uh, mind awake and aware of what's going on and uh, what I start to see in front of me starts off as um, this big uh, this big purple tunnel that I'm traveling down and uh, out through the sides of this purple tunnel all of these this procession of animal spirits uh, starts to come at me and they look pretty psychedelic uh, they weren't like just you normal animals that you would see in and about nature but they had varying colors uh, and fluorescent colors and were very bright uh, and they were just coming at me but as they got closer towards me they would crisscross and go back and behind me and all of these animal spirits just kept crossing my path and, and you know, coming towards me. Uh, all sorts. There was a bear. There was definitely a bull. Uh, there might have been a horse. There was definitely a snake. Um, so all sorts of uh, woodland creatures. And so uh, they were coming at me for a short period of time. Hard to gauge time, but I would say maybe 20, 30 seconds. Uh, and then all of a sudden... Uh, they all just kind of separated uh, and moved to the side and as they moved to the side that left an alleyway or a laneway um, for which I could see and so when I looked down this laneway uh, at the end uh, I saw this very large uh, white glowing being that I can only describe as an angel or most likely even an archangel and so he was way off in the distance but you could just tell he was just massive and he was just standing there uh, and sort of in his around his midsection or just a bit lower he was holding this massive white glowing sword and it was really really cool so whatever classic image you can think of uh, of an archangel uh, it's just white glowing flowing he had this massive white sword that was probably just as long as he was um, and he's just standing there very stoic uh, and uh, just kind of observing me and I'm just sort of in awe at this point I don't really know what's going on I'm just kind of my consciousness is just there observing and I've never experienced anything like this before so uh, I'm just a little bit of a bit oblivious excuse me as to what's going on so I see this angel and he starts to move towards me he doesn't come all the way towards me he keeps a bit of a distance uh, and he just starts to get larger and larger and as this uh, uh, Archangel comes uh, towards me, he halts, and then he lifts his sword way up in the air over his head and throws it down like that. He doesn't actually throw it or let go of the sword, but it's like he's making this chopping motion with his sword, two-hander style. And uh, out of the tip of his sword comes this uh, white sort of static ball of energy, and it's probably, you know, I can do this with my hands to make sort of a circle uh, at relative to the size that I am in this video that that's about how big it was uh, hard to again gauge size when you're in the astral so I see this white ball of energy just slowly coming at me uh, and I don't even know what's going on still I'm just kind of observing uh, and when it hits my etheric body uh, I just feel this massive charge uh, and I feel it and my if I, you know, if my etheric body was just kind of quivering and shaking, uh, like I had just been jolted by a lot of electricity, uh, and I can feel it uh, head to toe all over my entire being, just tingling, uh, and oh, that was pretty cool. So I'm just kind of floating there. All the animals are off to the side. I think maybe at this point they had sort of just cleared away, and uh, this archangel then lifts his sword over his head again and throws another two-handed chop points it at me and the ball of energy comes out of the tip of his sword again and 
uh, it starts to come at me, and this is when uh, you have to try and keep your rational mind out of the out of body experiences because the rational mind really, the left brain really can't understand what's going on. So this is where my left uh, brain kicked in, uh, or my rational mind, I should say, and said, "Okay, what's going on here?" You start to think about what's going on instead of just accepting the experience. Uh, and as soon as I started thinking about what was going on, I started to panic a little bit. Uh, so just remember that one, the thinking and the fear go hand in hand as long as uh, you're not thinking too much about things. Uh, you know, you can definitely use that as a tool to help reduce the amount of fear that you experience. So anyways, um, I start to panic a little bit and I see this white ball of energy coming at me and uh, all of a sudden the back of my mind says, okay, he's attacking you. Uh, and don't know why, obviously there was some fear in there, so uh, so as this second white ball of energy, same size as the first one, comes at me, I just kind of like, no, no, <laughs> like get out of the way, uh, so it doesn't hit me, and so this white ball of energy passes by me on the right side, and then I go back to the middle, and I'm just waiting and watching, and he lifts uh, two-hander style, uh, sword comes over the head and chops it down and points it at me and uh, the next another white ball of energy comes out same size slowly coming at me and by this time I'm in full panic mode so my uh, so again I'm trying to uh, my mind is interpreting this as an attack instead of a gift uh, and I go oh no so I jump out of the way and or just move my Seared body out of the way, and the ball of energy goes past me on the other side, uh, and then, uh, and then the archangel just stops, and he stands there holding his sword with his arms down, but you can see the sword is coming right up and above his head, and he just stops and he pauses, and he's just looking at me, and I guess at that point, I didn't quite understand what was going on, but you know, I I can look back. In hindsight, and obviously, he—I'm assuming he uh, knew uh, that I was not ready for uh, this gift that he was going to give me. Uh, and who knows how many more times he would have uh, thrown another ball of energy at me. So, uh, so he just stands there with a sword, and he turns around and goes off into the distance and as he goes off you can kind of see him get smaller and smaller you know because someone's thing in the distance things are always small disappears into sort of this tunnel of light uh, or just I guess a big circle of light and then uh, that was the end of the experience uh, so it was really quite fantastic it was like 1080p, 1080p super high definition uh, one of the clearest ones that I've had so far and of course, since it's happened, because I uh, I'm I really want to pay attention and see how my uh, astral projections affect my reality and my three-dimensional reality uh, in this physical reality here. So I'm always paying attention to see what would happen after that. And definitely, since that has happened, I've noticed a few things. My third eye has definitely started to open up a little bit more. Uh, and in particular, the amount of out of bodies that I've been having uh, are far easier and far more frequent. And up until about that point, I guess when they first started about a year and a half ago, uh, I was doing them, you know, once every two weeks, once every week, something like that. Sometimes I go once a month. Um, and then ever since then, um, the amount of uh, and part of the reason why I would only do that, do them, you know, that infrequent is that is because uh, doing them does take a bit of uh, a bit from you. It requires energy to do that, and your energy body has to be strong, and you have to be able to maintain uh, the energy body uh, through having a high life force uh, to do this repeatedly and repeatedly. Uh, and I would definitely notice that I would do some out of bodies and I would be very, very hungry afterwards or I would be noticeably drained uh, in some particular intense experiences. So after this experience, uh, whatever gifts will unravel from this, one of them definitely is now for some reason my energy body seems to be supercharged and I can do the out of bodies 
uh, every day now, no problem. Uh, as long as I can keep my mind focused, uh, the exit sensations uh, forming the out of bodies are very easy, but uh, it's happening daily and it doesn't feel like it's draining me anymore. Whereas before, I would feel like, you know, if I were doing too many of them, I was getting tired sometimes. Uh, so, you know, that's it for now. I'll, I'm obviously going to keep paying attention and see what happens, but obviously, you know, there was a fantastic gift that was given there, which, you know, over time, uh, will hopefully more of this wonderful gift will be revealed to me. Um, but I just wanted to share that with anybody out there who does out-of-body experiences or is trying to practice, um, uh, or anything like that. So, uh, one last thing I guess I want to mention, a friend mentioned to me that I should look up the link between uh, animals and archangels and when I searched it uh, on the net one common thing that came up was that Ariel was the patron archangel of animals in the environment and the way the out of body happened it seemed like there was a large procession of animals that preceded him and then they kind of split and made a pathway um, for him so my guess is that it might have been Ariel but I'm not 100% sure because uh, there was no dialogue or communication uh, uh, with this archangel that I saw. But it was a very, very cool experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, definitely looking forward to having some more uh, cool out-of-body experiences. And if I have any more, I'll definitely just keep a little video blog here. And, uh, uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching the vid. And take care. Bye.